We're here at the infusory. I'm with Carmen Vandenberg. I never thought I was going to get her here because I feel like you're everywhere. You know? Everywhere and nowhere. You're everywhere and nowhere. I feel like it's hard to grab you. You know, I feel like we spent a year and a half texting of being like, awesome, I'll see you next week. Awesome, I'll see you in a few weeks when you're back from here, I'm back from there. But every time I text you, when I get back, you're leaving. I know. And it's like, when, I, when I'm leaving, you just get and back. And we're here together now. Yeah, we did it. And there's proof. Okay, we're drinking bourbon old Bur fashions. Yep. Yeah. Cheers. Why not? Ooh, it's good. It's good. Thanks, Mike. It's good. Approved Thanks, by Carmen Mike. and I. Okay, first thing, you pick up your instrument and you frequently play strats. Mm -hmm. This is a Stratocaster that you built with Fender. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it, that's so epic. That's like the dream. Yeah, it, I can't quite believe it myself yet. Um, when I got the Jeff Beck gig, um, after writing the album with him, uh, I had to learn all of his repertoire and all of his tracks and everything. And you know how he plays with his thumb over the mm -hmm. top and everything. And, all strats are like normally have such a thick neck and whatever, and I've got tiny hands compared to Jeff, so like this. Yeah. And um, so I spoke to him about it, and he immediately just like skyped um, Billy Siegel from Fender, and was like, "Look, Carmen's coming on the road with me. We need to get her a guitar with like a thinner neck." Yeah. And that. So then, um, yeah, they measured it to my hand and stuff like that, and we built this, which is like a Jeff Beck model with a few things I've changed, and yeah, the neck is smaller. That's cool. That's always like such a thing for me. I have really I have small hands as well. We're gonna do it. <laughs> like this, you know? Yeah, yeah. We have the same size, small hands. But like, yeah, like seeing if your thumb can fit over. I hate yeah. thick necks, like all these baseball bat necks. Baseball bat necks. You know, I can't do it. But I have a strat, and the neck's not crazy huge, but I still don't always go for it because yeah. the neck is a thing. I that's always thought exciting. that's why women always like, oh, any model pass like. 63 or whatever. Well, the telly necks are quite thin. Yeah. Like the previous models are quite thick, but that's, I've always thought that's why women were always more inclined to playing tellies and stuff like that, because it's just easier. Yeah. And then I was, yeah, when I had this conversation with Fender, I was like, let's make, let's make one that's just accessible yeah, for girls or. That's like so a, cool. Is, with small hands. Is it men? <laughs> All the men with small hands. Or kids, you know, oh, I kids. love that. But I think it, I love that that's the line for all the women and men with small hands out there. <laughs> I don't see any man being like, hello. <laughs> Maybe, you know. It's they the didn't, best they, line. They didn't choose their hands. You know, they were just born with them. <laughs> um, when are these like out in the world yet? No, no, no. I've, I've got one. I'm, um, no one really knows about me yet, so I guess it'll happen. I know in about a, you. <laughs> Well, thank you. That's probably because I stalked you. <laughs> no, I stalked you too. <laughs> I feel like we have this like mutual, I guess, yeah, I totally stalked you. And it's funny, you're like, I don't do these interviews. Like, I've seen interviews of you on the internet. Where I'm like, God, she's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen them because I can't look at them. Yeah, it's probably, it's hard to watch yourself. Yeah. It's very hard playing and talking. I feel like it's almost harder to watch myself talk than play. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Because when you play, you don't have the time to think about what you're doing or saying or lo how you're looking. You're yeah. While well, when you're talking, there's a lot of things going on. I know. And I get confused with all the languages and everything I speak, and I'm like, what the fuck am I? Doing? What are your languages? It's okay, we can say those things. Okay. Um, uh, English, Italian, Spanish, and French, and a bit of Dutch, but yeah. Heck yeah. Okay, because you're like a vagabond. Yes. You've I'm lived a, everywhere. I'm a mongrel. A mongrel, I like that. I'm from planet Earth is my easy answer, and I can't be asked to I like explain that. everything. Mm. Yeah. You're, I know, I feel like you've been this, like, elusive character for me, like, since when I, the first time I met you. You're, like, in my life, and then you disappear, and then you're back in my life, and you disappear. Yeah, same for you. Like, I remember coming to your show, and someone had told me about you, and, like, there's this really amazing guitarist, you have to meet her, this and that, and then I came to jazz night. And then I saw you play, and I remember just coming up really shy, and be like, that was amazing. Hi, I'm Carmen. We're supposed to do something at yeah. Jazz Night, you know? Yeah, yeah. We're supposed to do, like, dueling guitars still. Yeah, they'd love that. We'll, we'll but they'd it. love it too much, almost. We shouldn't give it to them. We'll, we'll do, like, a teaser. We're like, okay. like, a cock teaser. You do, like, two songs, and then fuck off. <laughs> Perfect. We'll do that. 
<laughs> that sounds good. Okay, so what are you doing right now? So you have your project, Bones. Bones, yeah. And you guys, oh, have, have you been on the road with like Jeff Beck a lot or more so with Bones? No, no, no. Uh, so like we moved here about a year and a half ago and I was going to do a tour with Jeff this summer, but then um, we got a tour supporting Stone Temple Pilots, the Carlton Bush, oh. and, and our schedule got really busy and everything. And you know, like that's my main priority, you know, my band and everything. Um, so yeah, uh, and plus we toured with Jeff for like a year after the album came out. Yeah. And I love him to bits, but you know, there comes a time in your life when you, you really want to be your own artist. Yeah, would you, do you ever think you would tell Jeff Beck, like, sorry, Jeff, I can't play with you? No, no, he's like, he's like, <laughs> he's like a fatherly figure. And he's like one of my best mates as well, so it, was, it wasn't easy. Um, but yeah, I, I love my band and everything, and we moved here to like restart everything. Yeah. And yeah, yeah uh, we just got care. signed and the album's going to come out this year. So That's exciting. I'm just finishing off literally these, these past few days. Where are you guys recording? In our house. We've got a little, it's not basement, but like the downstairs floor is How studio. convenient. Mm. And you live with your band. Yeah. Well, it's me, Rosie, obviously, and then our producer, Filippo. Damn. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I got the privilege of seeing you guys like a year and some change yeah. ago. You guys sounded killer. It was just like <laughs> we, so fierce. I feel like that's the the adjective. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's quite out there. It's awesome though. It's like what the world needs. It's like a big middle finger with a lot of fun around it. Yeah, yeah. We have a, <laughs> we definitely have a lot of fun. It's like we've now toured the states for a bit, and um, yeah, we're, Rosie and I were talking about it literally today, being like, you know, it's been a month and a half that we haven't been on the road and. You just look at pictures, I'm like, ah, uh, I'm just not made for staying at home. I, I need to get back on the road. It's Are like, you leaving again soon? Well, we're, we're, we're waiting for the right support to, to, you know, go with the album and everything. There's a few options that I can't really talk about. We'd yet, have to talk but, about it. Um, you know, when the right one comes, you know, and then the album comes out, hopefully it'll be a long time on the road. And then we'll probably get bored of it, because that's what always happens. Of course. Once you're on tour, after two or three months, you're like, oh, I just want to go home. home. Of course. And then once but you're I like home. that life. It's just... Yeah. Right? It's... I agree. But I think it happens in every kind of life. The grass is always greener. Yeah. It doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. Whatever, whether it's like... Whatever you can't have, you want. Of course. <laughs> it's, yeah, and then once you have it, you're like, oh, God, is this all it is? It's like when I hear you playing, I can't do the things I'm like... I want to do that. But I feel the same about <laughs> your playing, you know? Yeah. It's like, that's the beautiful thing about it. I guess it's what it motivates us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so too. Okay, so when you pick up your guitar, your Carmen Vandenberg mm -hmm. guitar, like what do you do? What's the first thing you do? Probably one of the licks I've done thousands of times. Heck yeah, let me hear it. I don't know. I, now I'm too, I don't know. No, like... So you like pick up and do like, blue, like E minor blues licks. I'm not necessarily, I just went for that because it was But that, easy. But it's like that your yeah, go-to, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. I feel like everyone has like a go-to yeah. thing. Or like, I don't know. Or what? Like, I'm curious. Oh, it, it depends on like, if you pick up a guitar just in your room. Yeah. And you're not plugged in. Yeah. And you just do like chords and nice things, whatever. If like, I'm in a rehearsal space and full amp and like distortion and everything, I'll end up doing like a really heavy riff with an octave pedal or whatever. So yeah. it really depends on the setting. Yeah. Um, I hate having people listening to me at that moment. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. when, like, here I am, I pick my guitar up and, like, I'm in a rehearsal space or at a gig mm. and no one in the room has heard me play or maybe just the people in the band there's people yeah, in the yeah. room. You know, because you know they're all looking at you and they're probably like, oh, this chick Ready can't to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I just want to be like, screw you, I can screw play, you. but then I don't want to be that person who just, like, to start, like, shredding, you know? Uh, I've always done this thing. And even like with Rosie, we do sound checks where you kind of purposefully play sort of shit. Where they're, where they're che when they're checking your, um, just like your monitor levels and everything, especially when it's not your own sound guy. Right? Yeah. So we play like shitty on purpose or pretend we don't know how to check our mics and everything. And then when, when they say, okay, fine, play a track and you play full on properly and actually even perform at a sound check. And then you just always see like the front of house going, I know. Or like one of those faces, like, <laughs> but it's, it's kind of, it's, it's a funny game. To it's play. for that moment, right? Like when you walk in and you have a guitar and you have your pedal board and someone's like, oh, hi, sweetie. Like, are you going to be um, singing for us tonight? No, like, no, no. The funniest is, um, oh, 
Where's your boyfriend uh, yes. that you're carrying the stuff for? Yes, us? I know. That's always the one. Like, yeah. No, <laughs> this is really. Your boyfriend's guitar. No. <sighs> I know. Do you but get upset? I think it's getting better. No, I used to. I used to get upset when I was a kid. I really don't give a fuck anymore. I think it's yeah. You can. Yeah, and also it's like, you know, when you have, I guess having certain people that I've played with like under my belt, I like, I really don't have the time to get upset. Yeah. About, you know, some comment, which probably, when I was younger, I definitely would I got upset me and stuff like that. But I think just every woman or even men or whatever, you shouldn't get upset about others' opinions. Just, you know. It's true. Just do it. But it, like, like, it's but it like, does, it does affect you. It's for way. that moment, though. But like, you know, when you walk in and they're like, oh, sweetheart, like, yeah, yeah. is that your boyfriend's guitar? Oh, yeah. sweetheart, whatever. And then you're just like, Bruh! like that moment when you look at their face and you're just like, oh, I can play the guitar. Yes, yeah, so I guess the difference now is like before it might have upset me and made me a bit insecure. Well, right now I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 it is his. And then and then go upstairs. <laughs> and, and, and in my head, all I'm saying is. Just you wait, like, this is gonna be funny. I know. Oh, yeah, my boyfriend's coming. Yeah, Don't he, you worry about it. He'll be here in a thing. minute. <laughs> I should start doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll be here in a minute. He'll be here in a minute. I'm just the tech. <laughs> I'm going to steal that. Yeah, Because it. it's always weird. Like, I don't want to be snarky, and I don't want to be upset, and I don't want to be sassy. Or, like, like you know? Oh, or, or mad and, like, totally. get into it. It's not worth the energy, because I, exactly. I went through that phase as well, and it's just like. It puts you in a headspace of think that's not good and then you're doing it for the wrong reasons and music isn't supposed to be that and yes. it's like you're trying to prove a point and it's just like I know, that's yeah. the hard part is like And it's like right now it's like you either like her or you don't, you know, like I'm not the best and there's everyone's allowed their opinion. But I just I don't know. When something used to hit me at first on the chest, it now just kind of like brushes past. As it should. I think uh, that's such a better attitude to have. It, yeah, there's, it takes so much energy to be mad. It's so much easier I know. to just forgive and just forget. Totally. Yeah. I was talking about this with my sister-in-law last night. Yeah, like the like being angry at someone and like what's the benefit or just like working through a fight or working through. It's just like it's more beneficial to not let it affect you in a negative manner. Well, there's better ways of proving your point. It's kind of like a Nelson Mandela kind of state of mind where you're like, okay, I'll prove it to you in a, in a smarter way instead of like, oh, let's take it outside and have a fight. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Even if it's just a verbal fight or whatever. Yeah. It's just like, okay, that's your opinion, fine. Um, I'll try and prove you wrong with what I can do. And if I don't, well, you can live within your ignorance or... Yeah. I know. Do you know what I mean? It did. I totally agree. And what's more beneficial to society for like to be like an angry human being where it's like, mm -hmm. oh, you think girls can't play the guitar or oh, you think this or like just to actually play the guitar well. I have a song with the band where we have a song called Girls Can't Play Guitar. I've heard it. Yeah. I love it. And you, <laughs> next time we play in LA, you have to come up and just like sneak on stage while, we're, while I do I a solo and we'll do like a... <laughs> We'll do like a class, classic like Sashirani Vai thing and just like take the piss it's out on. of everybody. I remember seeing you guys do that song where it's like, da -da -da -da, you know, and then it's like, girls can't play guitar. And then you go up and you're like. Yeah. <laughs> it's the one song where I'm just allowed to like shred and it's do silly shit. It's so fun. Yeah. You guys had another funny one about cars in LA. Oh, uh, we're not doing that one anymore. But yeah. <laughs> I won't tell you the lyrics of that one. Wait, do you remind me? We um, have to. <laughs> why does your car have to be so big? Um, is it the size of your tiny dick? Or something? <laughs> <laughs> I remember hearing that. We, we wrote that, that just because yeah. it was like we moved here and it was like, mm, right, what's up with all of these people? <laughs> Maybe because in London everyone uses a tube. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> but we should definitely do that. I've had a few people come up. Um, on stage doing that song because like the live version has an extended solo bit. Or like sometimes I'll just throw the guitar in the crowd and play. It. I mean they won't actually be able to play it. There's a lot of bling 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 happening, but it's just like getting people involved. Do you have any LA shows coming soon? I want to see you guys again. No, we're playing in Vegas on the 21st, and then oh, um, yeah, Rosie's first time in Vegas. Mm. We're all a bit afraid of what might happen, but. I avoid Vegas. I, it's not my cup of tea at all, but I mean, it's one, it's one show, one evening. 
get yeah. drunk, get drunk and drive back. Ever really had fun in Vegas? No, it's like a plastic city. It's like yeah, adult Disney. La yeah, last time I went, I had a proper show. It was fu I had fun last time I went, but like not because of Vegas. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it was because I like tried to avoid Vegas. Well, if you're there for a purpose, so say you was doing a show. I was doing it's the, the show. same as doing it yeah. in any other city because you'll be playing the show and then you're backstage. Yeah, which looks the isn't same. It's a hard thing, like when traveling. You're like, I'm gonna be here and here, and you're like, oh no, I'm not gonna experience the city at all. Oh, the amount of places that been through it's just airport hotel stage hotel airport i'm like oh i've been to singapore no well not really because i didn't yeah, see any of it i know yeah but it's all about those this days time off. there's time and you figure if you tra tour enough the days off will line up <laughs> with like this i always think you that. know it's like well next time i'll get a day off in this city. <laughs> but so many times it's happened that i've done like consecutive tours like in europe and every day off is always in the same place. Oh, really? And always in a place like where either I'm from or family. I know, so and it's just you're like you're from Europe. You've been all over there. Yeah. But you're it, from like every city in Europe. I feel like. Well, there's a lot of cities, so that. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. I've, I've lived in a lot of places as well. So. Yeah, exactly. But like all over Europe, mostly, right? Mm -hmm. Well, my mum's Italian, Peruvian, and my dad's Dutch. So there's a bit of South America in me, which I don't know makes it a little bit. Spicy. Spicy. <laughs> spicy. Across the pond. <laughs> no, 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 spicy. <laughs> oh, spicy, not spicy. Got it. Not spicy, spicy. Like that. I like it. Spicy. For a bit. Then. Great.